Hey, Bobby Manning here. Welcome to a news edition of the Garden Report. Uh, back again here with long-awaited news from the Boston Globe here. Gary Washburn caught up with Brad Stevens at the Garden and broke some important news ahead of Media Day next week. Malcolm Brogdon healthy. Most concerns surrounding him. Chris Porzingis healthy as well, entering training camp next week. As Stevens expects, full participation on day one. Brogdon, of course, his elbow injury worried me and many others, uh, given the lack of updates over the offseason, the silence uh, surrounding him, and the reports from Gary Washburn himself that he left that near trade to the Clippers angry at the Celtics. Uh, Stevens also discussed that in this interview, said things are smoothed over. They've had discussions, and uh, they're ready to go into this season. Of course, the Globe also reported last week Celtics have no tra- plans to trade uh, Brogdon and they're not actively shopping him. So it uh, looks like this is going to be the team here, and barring any stunning surprises over the next couple of days here, ginormous news on the Brogdon front. I thought he was a critical part of this team last year, despite some areas of weakness in his game that hurt him at times. Great shot maker. Great, consistent Ben's presence, about as consistent as I've seen covering and following this team over the years. And one six-man of the year, of course. He's going to be that link between the bigger and smaller lineups. We hit on the possible bench wings earlier here, and he minimizes that as a camp discussion if he's reliable, healthy, and uh, contributing. Also, possibly in line for some more point guard reps this year, so... Uh, ginormous news that he's fully healthy and ready to go. Haven't seen him on social media at the Hourback Center yet, so it doesn't appear he's back. But he'll be ready to go next week, according to Stevens here. So massive sigh of relief for many Celtics fans, I'm sure. We'll see how he responds to questions about uh, the near trade and where he's at mentally going into this year uh, in terms of commitment and everything like that. He is extension eligible coming up here soon as well. Uh, So... Big year for Brogdon, bouncing back from that East Finals injury. More opportunity for him coming with Marcus Smart out. Uh, This is just what everyone wanted to hear, and we'll ultimately see what he looks like at practice on Tuesday, week from today. And Kristaps Porzingis, some video out of him shooting at the facility. He's been back for a couple days now. He dealt with plantar fasciitis, got shut down for four to six weeks This marks the six-week mark going into Wednesday here that they shut him down six weeks ago. So, all good on his front, too. No lingering pain or ailments here. And a notoriously nagging injury could pop up down the line here. But for now, it seems like Stevens, according to his comments in this piece, feels like they treated it well along with Latvia's national team, which he spent most of the summer with here. So, Celtics can start to gel build their lineups, see what they have into the preseason. Biggest fear going into camp was that we'd hear Brogdon needed surgery or Porzingis was on the sideline for a couple more weeks, even the entirety of the preseason. That would have been a tough way to start camp, given the importance of both these players. They're really the X factors on this team when you think about flowing between the first and second unit. I think both these guys will probably play together quite a bit on that second unit too. So uh, again, Big news here, Boston Globe reporting Brogdon, Porzingis, healthy, 100% ready to go when training camp begins next week, and so are we. We'll have media day coverage on Monday featuring both of these guys as they make their Celtics uh, debuts, Brogdon entering year two, Porzingis in year one. Uh, Pretty soon, just a couple weeks from now, the preseason gets going. We are brought to you by AG1, drinkag1.com slash garden, go there, get five Free travel packs as well as a year's supply of vitamin D. That's drinkag1.com. And FanDuel, fanduel.com slash Boston. Going to get you $200 in bonus bets when you head over there. When you make your first $5 deposit, uh, $5 bet rather, $10 deposit required, 21 plus present in mass. Non-withdrawable bonus bets expire in 14 days. Uh, Of course, check out fanduel.com slash Boston for all the lines, odds. Might even want to... Get in on the Celtics now that you know that they're, they're going to be healthy to start this year. That's FanDuel.com slash Boston. And our two other great sponsors here, starting with Odds R. Wish you could navigate the betting field with the confidence of a pro? Enter Odds R. They're not a sports book, but they're the sports betting advisor you always needed. 
It's like having a playbook for smarter bets right in your pocket. I've been absolutely loving the experience, and I think you will too, especially since Celtics All Access listeners get a 30-day free trial. Elevate your game day and join the smart betting revolution. Go get it at oddsr.com slash Celtics. That's oddsr.com slash Celtics. Fall season already in swing. You might be looking for wholesome, convenient meals for jam-packed days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, can help you fuel up fast with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. Head to factormeals.com slash newsfeed50 and use code newsfeed50 to get 50% off. That's code newsfeed50 at factormeals.com slash newsfeed50 to get 50% off. All right, that's our news edition of the Garden Report. I'm Bobby Manning. Shout out to all our sponsors. Please support them. Factor Meals as well. That's factormeals.com slash newsfeed50. The news today, Brogdon, Porzingis, healthy entering camp, according to the Boston Globe here. Stay tuned to Celtics All Access, CLNS Media Training Camp Preview coming on the Garden Report on Thursday. We'll see you then.